In junior high, I, um, I joined our school track team just to kind of get out there, have some fun. He took to it right away. It was really quite funny. He, uh, he went to his first school meet and did well, and he came back and I said, do you want to do this some more? And he said, I think I need to. From there, it, like my interest with it really grew, and I just like I haven't really looked back since. Well, his, his first season, he did well enough to qualify for regionals, uh, did well enough for regionals to qualify for provincials and managed to get on the Nova Scotia team for uh, Legions in his, his first year. His coach basically said that he saw something in Peter that uh, he, he wanted to work with and develop. He would adapt to things very quickly. You'd show him something, doesn't matter if it was a hurdle, a high jump, it wouldn't matter for any, from a track and field perspective, um, but it was just his athleticism. He's very coachable. I, I'd probably say a coach's dream, any of the coaching staff would say that. Peter is still in high school, last year of high school. He's 18 years old. Uh, he's really young. It can be hard to find all the time between school and trying to, you know, maintain friends. That's amazing. But as I progressed through track and as I stayed more dedicated to it, they really were supportive and they understood like okay yeah it's fine if you can't come out tonight we understand you got to get up and train you know or you have a meet this weekend so you can't you know come over and hang out well this is the uh the metropolitan sports complex and this is the track this is where i do the majority of my training it's always with um, the little improvements in track you're always pushing yourself a little bit farther to try to get that extra that extra centimeter the extra hundredth of a second so when you see uh, your your hard work paying off with the numbers then it's always it's always a really good feeling Peter Collier come on out Peter when they announced the winner oh we were both in shock I believe I said some rude words. Uh. I wasn't surprised one bit, to be honest with you, because that's that's Peter, like very quiet, very humble. I kind of figured I would be maybe shooting for you know top ten, top twenty, but I never expected to come out winning it at all. It's always kind of been in the back of my mind since I started doing track. Like it would be, you know, crazy to be an Olympian to actually go to the Olympics and compete with all the best in the world from all the other countries. But it was always just kind of a dream, and now with this, it's it's like it's making it even more real. You know, like it really could happen. <laughs>